I'm Noah Dean. I'm a lead installer for Cape Fear Solar Systems. What's the customer interaction process like? Basically, it's very limited. Once we get to the job, we talk with the owner of the house and we'll go through the process with them, figure out which part of the roof we can get on, where we can start, or if we can get in the attic. I like to go through and assess everything myself, make sure the rafter spacing's right, the attic's sizable for what we're gonna do. To wrap the system, to install up, what does that look like? So we'll have our electrician hook up our disconnect and our in-face system. And I'll go through and we'll commission the system, make sure all the panels are working, they're producing the right amount of power. Do you do that the same day, commission it? Yeah, the install is done. And when you're done, you just wrap everything up, clean up? Clean up, take a picture of the system, take pictures of everything, make sure we're documenting everything, show the homeowner, make sure they're happy with it. Typically, if they can see it from the ground, we'll let them look at it from the ground. And then if not, I'll take pictures and show it to them. Thank you very much. I'm Glenn Hadley with Cape Fear Solar Systems. I'm an electrician. Basically, my job is to connect the system from the panel of the existing home to our equipment. I gotta install a disconnect per the code. Uh, depending on the size of the system, that determines the size of the disconnect. Install. What's a disconnect? The disconnect is a safety switch. There Got has it. to be some form of disconnect. These wires are gonna connect here, here, and right here, they're gonna go inside to the panel. This goes out the wall, into the pipe you saw, into the disconnect. From there, I'm gonna tap them to this line and this line. The white wire will connect here to the neutral bar. Green wire is brown, connect to the ground this side over here. Probably down here someplace. With each system that we install, there is two means of disconnect between the panel itself and the system on the roof. At what step of the installation do you come in? Usually we're both in there at the same time. Do you disconnect the power for a period of time? Not unless no. it's absolutely necessary. Okay, all right, Good thank company. you, Glenn. Thank you. My name's Sean Holt. I'm a Cape Fear solar installer. It's a blessed place to work. It's a demanding job, but it's also rewarding. It's everything from a small install of five to 10 panels to a huge install like, like we do today of 20 to 30 to 40 panels. Uh, installs include anything from panel work, rail work, electrical work, and collaboration with our electricians, and of course our, our team lead. What do you do first from the time you arrive? Prepping everything we need beforehand, so when we get on the roof, there's... What does prepping look like? Prepping for us looks like anything from cutting the wires off the back of the panels, to splicing rails, to getting attachments ready to be placed into the roof as well as doing the walkthrough of the roof, attic, and seeing what we're gonna be working with today. We'll prep usually in a general area that's convenient for the customer, but also convenient for us, anything from a backyard, front yard, as well as inside of uh, the work truck. So it's all about efficiency? Yes. So that's the pretty standard uh, solar install for Cape Fear, I'd say, and it's 43 panels, four-man crew, scheduled for two days, and we'll have it knocked out in about a day and a half. Thank you very much. My name is Patrick Palin. I am a PV installer, a photovoltaic installer. I take care of all the hardware as far as electrical and hardware, the rails and the panels and what have you. When you say take care, does that mean you actually install them into the roof or? Yes, sir. I uh, bring them out of the truck here and we'll start to finish it and until we got a full system. So you spend most of your time on the roof then? Oh yeah, definitely. How do you feel up on the roof? I definitely am not afraid of heights, but it's good to keep a real healthy respect for it. And you have to strap yourself in and all oh, that? Oh yeah, always. OSHA guidelines, harnessed up, uh, anything above six feet. All right, well, thank you very much. Um,